It's a game they led by as many as 38. Ended up shooting nearly 56% for the game. We're 12 of 24 behind the arc. They're now 71 and 5 all time when ranked number one. The game played before a partisan crowd of 20,164 in Cleveland. The largest ever to see a college basketball game in the state of Ohio. And the Buckeyes certainly took notice. I tell you what, uh, it was it was amazing walking out and seeing all the scarlet and gray, and and uh, I know that was big for our our players. It felt like a home game, you know, especially for me being from Cleveland, uh, and uh, the, the Buckeye Nation pretty much was out there everywhere. When you close your eyes, it felt like we were in Columbus all over again. Um, it was awesome. I couldn't ask for a better group of guys to come into it with. Um, I mean, we're, we all get along, we all have fun. Uh, people stepped up when they needed to, and we had some fun today. That they did. They will get George Mason next, the team that made that great Cinderella run to the Final Four in 2006. They came from 10 down to beat Villanova, the most exciting game of the day on Friday. Winner of that one gets either Kentucky or West Virginia in the Sweet 16. As for this game against Texas San Antonio, Jim, you don't want to make too much of it because there is a pretty clear talent gap here. But what stood out to you about OSU's performance? Dave, even with the gap, you look at how a team played and performed on the basketball court. And this OSU team was spectacular. 29 baskets, but it was 26 assists. They shared the basketball. Okay, finding the zone right here. Sully right over to Buford for the baseline dunk. These are the little things. Over the top to John Thiebler. I mean, Thiebler, of course, there he is. <laughs> Returning the favor right inside to Sully. Sharing the basketball, moving. It doesn't matter who has it at what particular time because they understand what the concept of teamwork is. And that means if somebody's open, get it to them, not now, but right now, so they can get a good shot. Four players with five or more assists. The assist became an official stat in 1986. This is the fourth time in the NCAA tournament since that time that a team has had four players with five or more assists. Each of the previous ones who did it won the national championship. Kentucky in 1996, the last to do it. It's a little arcane. It may be a bit of a stretch, but the facts are the facts. (laughs)